Hello, and welcome to another episode of Intune.Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune, the Stephen Adams Show. Hey, I'm Adam. Hey, I'm Steve. It's your turn over there. Hey, hey, Steve. My turn over here, is it? Yeah, yeah, you got it now. All right, yeah, yeah. Steve's uh, Steve's running the producer role today, so yep. um, we're gonna probably be out of sync on uh, who's talking and who's actually showing on the screen. So uh, I'll try to pay attention while he's talking and everything. So hey, um, today on Into Not Training, we are going to hopefully have a short, quick session on configuring um, Apple device enrollment in Intune. And since uh, I have no desire to do that, Steve's going to pretty much run the show and I'm going to ask um, silly questions the whole time as he goes through it. So yep. sit back and uh, enjoy. Take it, take it away, Steve. Will do. So yeah, as Adam said, we're going to go through the whole Apple uh, push notification enrollment process. So what we're going to see here is the process and how we create the um, Apple push notification certificate, which is required so we can actually enroll. I really want to take a photo of Adam's screen of just him yawning right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So the Apple <laughs> enrollment, to be able to use Apple enrollment with Intune, you need to set up the Apple MDM push notification certificate. So this process is using, um, it's a pretty straightforward process and that's why it's going to be a really short one. We're not going to set up any of the configurations for the Apple's devices today. It's just around this push notification um, and, and it's minimum required viable product for managing Apple devices in tune for any MDM platform. So we start off at the uh, Intune page uh, where we dearly love it and we select the device enrollment uh, section and then we from here we select the Apple enrollment. From there we now have the ability to go and grab the Apple push notification or push certificate um, option and you'll see that these two bulk enrollment options are disabled while the push notification certificate doesn't exist. So of course we're going to accept that because it's really important. And then we have a really simple code signing request um, download that we need to perform, which allows us to create a certificate request from Apple. From there, we select the create your MDM push notification certificate and we sign in with our awesome training account. Training. And it's, it's worth noting as he goes through this that we have already pre created our um, Apple ID. So if you don't have that, you would need to get that configured on the business.apple.com site. Is that right? Uh, yes. Or a combination so of the Apple ID site and the business. Yeah, site is what we'll do. So what you can do with regards to the, um, and then it's a good segue there for, from what I'm saying, right? So you need to have an Apple ID, whether it's a business account or not, it doesn't matter. Um, but if you're going to use a business.apple.com account, you need to have a Dunn's ID for your company name so you can actually get it registered. It's a requirement by Apple so you, they don't have random companies just being created in there. But when you do that, then you can use the device enrollment program um, that Apple has to do the auto provisioning of devices as they come out of the box from factory, um, like we do with autopilot. So we're just going to hit upload on this. We do have the ability of, to have notes there. But, um, if you've got multiple tenants, that's where you have that. We're just going to download that setting or the perm file and now we go back to Intune and we put in the email address. So this is really important. Make sure that this is the email account that you've used to create that certificate because it's what is going to be prompted and shown whenever it expires or whenever it needs to be renewed because we don't have the ability to pull that information out of Apple. Um, it's a free text field 
and it's going to make your life a lot easier when you go and renew it because if you're not renewing the certificate every one of your mobile devices would then have to be re-enrolled into the mdm platform to be able to pull up that apple certificate or be managed by intune even if you've previously got the previous mdm certificate there to add a second one you'd have to recreate it all um, so you'll see here is the id that i put in there um, <clears throat> when we last updated it you can see the expiration how many days and it's all done so, so that, Steve, that's where where and when i mean i know when but uh, what would be the notification mechanism on that apple account that apple id account would it would they email you when you're going to expire or is that something you get alerted inside the portal or um it's a bit of both so you do get notified when it's going to expire you'll get an email from apple saying your certificate's expired we'll also have an email in there saying you've requested a certificate so that there's that level of understanding of where and where that certificates sitting at and when you're having certificates requests on your account uh, okay because, so because you because you made me panic there saying oh well so I, i'm going to potentially expire and then orphan all of my devices and have to start over if i don't know about it so i want to make sure that i know about it uh, so what if i mean so if, if let's say that that i guess we would need to make sure that that was a an apple id that more than one person in our company had access to and not just someone's personal Apple ID so that when they lose, leave the company, now you don't have access to re-enroll those and you'd have to start over anyway, right? Yeah, that, that's correct. So what we typically recommend is using a, a distribution list as the email account for the Apple ID, um, and then you can have multiple MFA prompts required on there. Um, so you can have multiple different phone numbers for security checks and things like that. Um, this is required for business accounts now is a minimum uh, requirement to have an MFA check on those mobile phones. Good to know. Yep. Um, so I think that's pretty much our wrap up process for setting up that uh, Apple push notification certificate um, or the APN, um, as we, you'll see it in all of the um, information from Microsoft. Um, what you'll see appear here when your certificate has or you're starting to expire, when you go to the overview for a device enrollment, you'll have a countdown sitting there and saying you have X number of days before your certificate expires. Okay, sounds good. Yep, cool. So I think that uh, our, our short and sharp uh, session there, Adam, I think that's gonna uh, be it for the setting up the Apple device as the minimal viable product. Um, I'm sure we'll organize a, a bigger session at a few, uh, in a future, video where we'll go through the process of deploying applications and setting up the application store for apples and then we'll also um, show you how to ensure that your users have read every line of the apple um, terms and conditions before they accept them to use their device so i didn't know so i think that's important that. i think that's important for our users to read every line of terms and conditions <laughs> I got nothing. Yet. Definitely. <laughs> cool. Well, that was short and sweet. Thanks, Steve. Yep. All right. Thanks, Adam. And thanks, everybody. And obviously, uh, feel free to reach out to us on Twitter. I'm Steve Hosking at On Prem Cloud Guy. And I'm Adam Gross uh, at Adam Gross TX because I live in Texas. Awesome. And until next time, thank you. See you later. <laughs>